Blue-green algae is one of the animal health issues that we have to deal with in Kansas every summer. It is because blue-green algae, which are also called cyanobacteria, are toxic. Those toxins are sometimes extremely poisonous. So uh, it's very easy for an animal to consume enough to cause serious poisoning or even death. You need to take the sample in an area where the blue-green algae are present. If there is a consistent wind that blows, um, will typically accumulate on the downwind side of the pond. Um, they tend to be higher concentrations um, in areas of a lake that is at higher temperature, which will typically be the, the shallow still areas within a cove or, or areas like that, sheltered from the wind. So it's really important that you take the sample correctly. This is an example of a container that works very well. Um, it has a, a nice wide opening so that you can easily pour your sample into the bottle. And then once you get to the pond or lake, um, rinse it out with pond water a couple of times before you, ta you take your final sample. Um, just make sure that you do label the container in which you, you take the sample. Some of these toxic blue-green algae can be extremely irritant to the skin. The, the best way to protect yourself from that is to just avoid touching the water. So one way of doing that is to, um, to just take something like a long stick with a, a cup attached to the end and use that to scoop out water as, as opposed to using your hand to scoop water. If you don't have that, if you have to use your hands, um, make sure you use gloves um, to protect your skin. Then after you've taken the sample, get it to the laboratory as soon as possible. Take your sample, place it into a cooler box with, a, with an ice pack, then take it to a refrigerator and then ship it overnight to a laboratory. And we will be able to tell you whether or not what you're seeing is a blue-green algae bloom.